Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! So we are back with NAC 2, very hard mode on the PlayStation 4. And right now, we are in the city of Targus, the home of the High Goblins. Now, uh, we are trying to lower the drawbridge for Lucas, Ryder, and Ava. But unfortunately, all of the gears are not in place. So at the moment, we are doing a bunch of puzzles to try and set up all of the gears so that we can finally lower the drawbridge for all of the, uh, all of the dudes outside. But it's taking a lot longer than I remember. Oh, no, I remember this bit. Oh, this bit's a right pain in the butt. <laughs> I don't like this bit. I mess up so much. I'm not quick enough. We have to pull out all of these, um, all of these different things. This one. Then we need to jump from this one to this one to this one. But trying to pull them all out and actually jump onto them before they drop down is a pain in the butt. I've probably done this in the wrong order. Yeah, I probably did this in the wrong order. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> I didn't do it that well when I was doing it on my own. I kept on being too slow. <clears throat> As I said in the last video, I've still got a problem with my throat. So like I said, if my uh, voice sounds a bit grumpy or a bit croaky, I apologise. I think we're, pretty, we're getting pretty close to doing the last cog now. Yeah, we found two of the treasure chests, so we've got one more to find. I think I did find all three of them, but I can't remember 100% if I would missed one or not. I get the feeling that I did miss one. So like always, if you find it, let me know. There's a little thing over there. What's that? I can't jump over there yet. So this one puts the final cog in place. I don't think that... I think I might have missed one, actually. Because I think I did this last time. Lovely. Yeah, so because we go through this little hole so that we can get back down to the lever. Oh, it won't let me back through now. Oh yeah, it did. So so where where would it where would it be? Just gonna come back and have a little look if it will if it will let me anyway. No, we're not gonna be able to get back, are we? Is there a hole there? Nope, that's not a hole. Can I maybe squidge down if I go like baby knack mode? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I mean, we, we only just found the other one. Oh, I, actually, I think once we lower the drawbridge, there's more of this level. So it might be in the next part of the level. Because it doesn't go immediately into a new chapter. So yeah, I think I... Yeah, I think I know where it is, actually. Never mind. I was being stupid. I did find it. Once we get him across the drawbridge, we're going to be, like, in the courtyard. And you have to go either left or right. Now, if you go left, you'll find a treasure chest. Yeah, I remember where it is. What do you mean, finally, you disrespectful little git? I was doing all the way. You were sitting all the way back there on your fat little ass whilst I did all the work. And you say finally to me. Who the hell do you think you are, Lucas? Huh? How about you do some platforming? How about you go through all these dodgy gears and stuff? How about you do some platforming, you little shit? How'd you like that? How'd you... Come here. Get back here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't like Lucas. He's as bad as the dock he is. What a city. And 
somewhere in there is where Yurik created the ancient weapons. This could take a while. Yep, so we're going to be heading over to that nice little pyramid over there. Because uh, this is where Yurik built the uh, heavy machine, the ancient machines, or the robots, if you're a normal person. So, um, we're trying to find out how they're coming back to life. That's our main, that's our main goal at the moment. But before we do that, we're going to come over here. Now, uh, if you go this way, like go round and go that way, that carries on with a level. If you come over this way, there's uh, another way you can go, and it will have one of your final chests in it. Yeah, it's this little secret way over here. It's very random with the frame rate, you know. But like I've got mine on, uh, I've got mine on thingy. What's the word? I've forgotten the word now. Unlocked. That's the word, unlocked. I've got my frame rate on unlocked. So uh, sometimes it goes up to 60 FPS and then other times it goes to 30, you know. I feel like this game could easily be 60 FPS. This is where the treasure chest is. I suppose when you've got like lots of sections where Nat's like doing this a lot, you know, because all of those little relic parts on the floor are actually individual relics that connect to Nat's body. So all of these will actually remain on the floor, you know. And if you're doing this a lot, I suppose that could like mess up the frame rate. And then you've also got quite a lot of goblins that have all their armor like slowly fall apart when you hit them. And there's lots of like phys physics going on in this game, not as much like visuals, you know. Okay, this is part of the crystal breaker part, the thing that allows us to use our body slam and it will like create a sonic boom that will set off all of the sunstones, you know, helps you for gathering them. It's also pretty good because sometimes you get like pieces of sunstone that are up on the, um, up on like the lights and stuff that you can't actually hit. So if you use your body slam, you can get them, you know, so it's pretty useful for that. Lovely. Haven't got enough uh, relic energy to buy another skill point yet. Hopefully we get the other skill point because I want to get the uh, the punch upgrade. Because I seem to punch robots and kick robots and I, I seem to drop kick goblins. That's how it seems to work with me. How the hell did you get up here so quickly? See, I mean, I mean like Lucas could so easily fit through here. Actually, all three of them. The only one that might have a bit of trouble is Ryder because he's got a pretty buff looking chest. But those two could easily squidge through here and actually help me out. No, I'll tell you what they're gonna do. They're gonna wait back here. They're gonna wait for me to kill the scorpions and then they're gonna come down, you know? Not gonna help me at all. You watch, once these scorpions and goblins are killed. Oh, relic energy. Oh, I'll see, look, yeah, that's right. Wait for me to fight the big deadly scorpions. What if I'm scared of scorpions, you know? Just because I'm Knack and I'm like the Doc's invention doesn't mean I don't have my own fears. Like, I reckon Knack is scared of hoovers. Because as all of his parts, like, so easily come from his body, you turn on a hoover, you might suck away a few of his parts. And depending on the part you suck away, it could cause a few problems for Knack, you know? So I reckon Knack might have a fear of hoovers. Oh, you didn't like that, did you, Mr. Goblin? I didn't like that. Oh, he didn't even die from it. Oh, I see that. One of the sun crystals stunned everybody. Probably the best gadget in the game, especially when you're playing on very hard. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. Yes, hello. Thanks for the help, everyone. Hello. Yes, lovely. I'm going to hide here with a uh, rider. I ain't moving. I am not moving, Wolf Morphets. I will sit here for the full 20 minutes if I need to. I mean, uh, Lucas, at least Lucas, you know, he's sort of like a scientist, you know. Maybe him not fighting, I could understand a bit. Ryder is an adventurer. He's done a lot of fighting. He could get in there. Ava is military trained, so... <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You two are an absolute disgrace. If that dude was still alive, Morris or whatever his name was, the uh, hero guy who won the Crystal Wars for us during the High Goblin War. If he was still alive, he would be ashamed of you three. He'd love Knack, but he'd be ashamed of you three. That big pyramid looks promising. Let's check it out. Yeah, we will be checking it out. 
Once I've done all the damn work, that is. Oh, no. Oh, this bit's a right pain in the bloody ass. You do, you do get a sun... You get one of those powerful sunstones, but... That dude with a shield, he stays up there for a little while, and it's only when you've nearly run out of energy he jumps down. <laughs> okay. Right. As long as we can kill everybody except the shield guy, we'll be alright. And then I can just... Because if, if you want to kill them and cheat, you can smack them and then quickly run outside this door over here. And then they walk away. And you can run back in, punch them again, and run back out here. Sort of like what we did a few episodes back. So if you want to cheat... It's not really cheating, you know. But it's just it's using the environment to your advantage. was very close. Okay, managed to kill him. <laughs> I need to drink some water. I need water. Come on, Wolf Morphets. Somebody needs to buy me a beer hat so I can use it for water. Or tea. I'll stick tea in it. See what I mean? How you, you just... Uh, no matter how much you try, no matter how good you are, you can't kill all of them with your crystal energy. Unless all of them stand in front of you, and you're alright, you know? I can't see. How the hell am I supposed to accept... That's the problem, you know? Once you get smacked, you become Tiny Knack, you know? And then trying to dodge is so impossible because you do dodge and all he does is this little eh. And he barely moves, you know, because he's small. I'm doing terribly. I'm not even managing to kill. But like I said, if you want to get away, you just run out here. They can smack you through that thing there, so do watch out. Just aggressively pressing the square button at the moment. Trying to not be too soy. I just don't understand why the hell I uh, kill them first time, you know, and then the second time I do it, conveniently, it's like they just don't die. And there's also a grenade dude alive, which is going to cause even more problems. I wish I could dodge as quick as you lot, considering you're big fat goblins. Ah, ha, ha. Oh! It won't let me go back any further. It knows I'm cheating. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> Where is he then? <gasps> oh no! What am I supposed to do now? He's guarding the door. I like how he just stands there with Lucas, Ryder, and the other dude, other girl. I mean, I've got no idea how that dude in the corner is still alive, that grenade guy. I've got no idea how in hell he is alive. I just had the uh, giant fat goblin cornered, and I was hitting him a shit ton of times, also hitting the... the uh... Oh, no.
I'm not even sure when I'm hitting him or not. Oh, okay. Well, that hurt him. But yeah, I was smacking that big fat goblin over there with the small goblin in the corner and somehow they both survived. <laughs> I just don't, they, they, they do that jump attack and then they slam the floor and then I try and go in for a punch but then they automatically jump back. Considering they're fat goblins, their reflexes and their speed is pathetic. They're goblins, mate. I know it's going to get me anyway because it always does. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? He was about to cheat and slam attack me. Well, that's that done. Right, well, I was doing that for about eight minutes. So I'm going to record for another seven minutes. If this video ends up being less than 20 minutes, shame. It's, just, it's a big shame. Hello? Oh, there we go. Going to probably get attacked by some more stuff now, aren't I? Oh yeah, I remember what's about to happen soon. <laughs> Things are not going to get better. Well, it's not as bad as that bit we just did. That bit we just did is ridiculous. It is, it is terrible. By far one of the worst bits. We, I mean, yeah, well look, see, we've got all of the hidden chests. It's brilliant. It's a miracle. I can't believe goblins built all this. It was high goblins, Lucas. Very different from the ones you find prowling in the wilderness. Yeah, I suppose they ended up in the wilderness because after they got defeated, you know, we probably took over their city and stole it from them, you know, or kicked them out into the wild. I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's carry on. Check out the lights. Do you think anyone's down there? It's been 200 years. If there is something down there, let's hope it's on our side. What is this place? Looks like a warehouse of some kind. Not quite what we're searching for. Well, I don't know. If it's a warehouse, then they're most likely going to be building robots here, aren't they? And storing them in, like, cargo containers. So this is the kind of place you're probably looking for, you know? Because this will be the place where they've been built. It might give you uh, some hints as to who's thingy reviving them. Oh, there we go. A little, nice little relic chest there. I've got enough... Uh, Relic energy for a power up. So let's have a look what I've got. So we can either do the somersault kick, which I think is a bad idea at the moment. Punch power. I'll get the punch one because sometimes I do punch, you know. Not very often, but at least when I do do it, I'm doing more damage, you know. So we'll go with that for now. Right, so this place is pretty much a place where they build robots by the looks of it. But there's lots of like random puzzles we have to do. Like these things, you have to smack them. And then you have to slowly knock them until they spin around in a complete circle. Like that, okay? That's all you got to do. So it generates power for the conveyors. Now, there are two hidden treasure chests. I think I found both of these as well. But in the next area, I only found one. So you probably shouldn't have to keep an eye out. Oh, lovely. Some more iron ore. You gotta love being Iron Knack. Thanks. Thanks, Lucas. I mean, you can butter me up all you want, but you're still a lazy little so sod. Crates. Yeah. But what's in them? That's the question. Right, so now that I'm Iron Knack, there is another new thing you can do. You can actually build power cables on the floor. If you stand on these, you won't take any damage as long as you're Iron Knack. If you step on these as normal Knack, they hurt, so watch your butt. If you hold R1 and then you walk, see, you leave like a cable of metal behind you. There you go, see? Most ingenious knack. Thank you. Now, uh, you can't draw on these things so here. What do the high goblins look like? Well, they are said to have had markings on their faces. Huh. Well, maybe we'll find a mummy or something. A body. Con I'm starting to think Lucas is really morbid, you know. Because he, he was excited when he found a battleground and there was loads of, like, dead people everywhere. He's excited to see a dead high goblin. The dude's a sicko, isn't he? He's, got, he's gone mad. He's gone absolutely mad. 
Ah, uh, yeah. There's a there's another um treasure chest up in that little hole there, but we can't go there yet. Oh no! I know what's about to happen. I'm not excited. You did it. The power's back on. Thanks, Knack. Look out! Watch yourself. They're a lot faster than before. Yeah, they are. These are pretty much brand new robots that we've been fighting in the uh, ruins, you know? You know all those mossy ones we found? These are just brand new, more powerful versions, pretty much. Oh, I forgot he does that. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> this is probably the worst bit. As we go through this level, we're going to slowly get taller every single time. You know, so it makes it a lot easier. But for now, when you're like the medium-sized knack... When you're medium-sized knack, you're going to go through some hell. God damn it. There's actually a pile of... God, that's so damn fast. I'm just rushing too much. I need a, I need to uh, improve my accuracy with these attacks. How the hell did that hurt me? You're just talking crap now, game. How the flipping... Where did all my relic stuff go? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever, dear. Still alive. Still alive. How many hits have you taken? I'm not sure if we can do this yet. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. Thank you, conveyor belt. That's the uh, crate we're going to use to get up there. Because obviously, once you finish this battle, you're going to probably just proceed on with the level and you're not going to really remember to come back. That's their plan anyway. They're hoping you forget. Sorry that I keep going back to the relic guy, and I'm just, you know, it, it gives me more health. And these guys are proper cheaters, you know. They're proper aggressive when you're, like, medium-sized. But once I become tall knack, they're all a bunch of pussies. Ouch. Gotta be careful because he can still hit me from over there because the range of his weapons are just insane. Oh no, wrong button. That was close. So that's what's okay. The Yikes. Right, now let's come up on here and then come over to here. Shrink Dan. Then we're going to grab this chest and I'm going to have to end it for today. Now, I'm not sure how long this video is. It should be about 20 minutes long, but I've died so many times and I'm going to have to cut out so many deaths that I'm not 100% sure. So if it's shorter, then sorry, but you know, nothing I can do about it. You know, I'm playing on very hard. I'm not playing on easy, so I'm going to die. Okay. Thanks for watching, Wolf of Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I sure as hell didn't. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!